To make my favorite eggnog, you of course start with eight fresh eggs. And the freshness of the eggs makes a difference because we're, after all, going for the yolk here. I save the whites for an omelet or meringues later. But you'll need eight eggs. And then to that, add a cup and a quarter of granulated sugar. Just whisk that right in. You'll get a paste almost. A teaspoon of vanilla is the next step. And I just kind of eyeball this because I love vanilla and like to add a lot of it. And then I freshly plain, microplane, some cinnamon and nutmeg. The recipe I've written in my book, Bourbon and Bacon, calls for two teaspoons of each, but I just do it to taste. And then my favorite bit, I use Old Forester's Birthday Bourbon. I whisk that sucker right in there. It's two cups of bourbon, which is awesome. And then I add a little more cinnamon and nutmeg. Of course, you'll want to taste it at this point to see if you like it. I set the recipe aside at this point. You're going to need, uh, after this, seven cups of heavy whipping cream, but I'll explain that in just a second. Oh, you caught me having my favorite eggnog by the Christmas tree, because it's just not Christmas without eggnog in my opinion, and every self-respecting southerner has their own eggnog recipe. You see, most people make eggnog by the pitcher, and that's fine if you want it to separate in the corner at Christmas parties, but I like to make my eggnog by the glass, so I pour the leftover, just the nog part, just the bourbon and the eggs, I pour that into an old bourbon bottle. Who would have one of those laying around? And then I just kind of gently shake it throughout the year. Now, this is a no-cook recipe, which means I don't make the eggs into a custard beforehand. I don't worry about salmonella because this baby's got two cups of bourbon in it. That'll eradicate anything that might be living except, let's hope, you. Have a Merry Christmas.